Oh, yep, it's in the yellow. Oh, X. Oh, nope. <laughs> Is it still bad? It says it was. It's now in the red. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Let me just do some stuff. Hold You're on. dropping way less frames than before. Okay, so wait, let me disable... But you're still dropping a lot of frames, like, we, I think we just need to drop a bit right more. Like, okay. it looks like you're getting... You're, it looks like your connection is, like, 30, 3,800. No, keep that up. Okay. Just, uh, go... No, I'm just curious, like, see, I just want to see, like, how it would perform if I, like, stopped sharing. Okay, I don't think it would make a huge difference, but yeah, do try that. Okay. Oh, yep! Oh, okay, that was the problem then. Okay, okay. yeah, hello! Hi, everyone! Uh, how's the audio? Okay, um... Ah! See how good of a latency I can get. I'm, I pulled up the stream and it... I mean, yeah, the stream appears to be working now, so... Okay. So, we can just... Just I can get it, I can get down to I can get down to five point four seconds of live latency. Okay. Um, on my end, so. That's. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be seeing it about six seconds behind you. Okay, no worries. Everybody's hi everyone. And, We're doing split stream. Audio. I can't hear the game audio, which makes me oh, sad. Okay. Um, because um, I mean it, it's on the stream. It's on the stream. It's fine. Oh. It's just I. I if I if I don't mute it, then I can't. Oh yeah, you're gonna hear yourself. All right then. Life. So we're doing Splatoon. Um, like I said, we're doing the live stream. Splatoon live stream. Uh, I finally bought Octo expansion because you convinced me to. Yes. Also, you should probably introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, I'm Coaster. Um, I I like Splatoon. Uh, do you also like place in pixels? I don't know how to introduce myself. Splatoon is cool. Place in pixels as well is cool. Yeah, pixels are cool. Uh, if you if you've ever seen, if you ever looked at r slash place, uh, like, uh, um, and uh, like you see pony stuff on it, uh, it was probably me. <laughs> yeah, weren't you like uh, the second highest one? Yeah, in in twenty twenty two, I was the second highest pixel placer of in the entire event. Like, not just of like bronies, like of all of the ten million accounts that participated. Uh, mine was the second highest. 781 pixels. And in Splatoon, er, Splatoon 3, in r slash place 3, um, I, um, I placed 1050, which I don't know where that is on the rankings, uh, not... Did they release uh, the rankings not, publicly? Uh, no. They didn't release the ranking publicly for, for 2. We had to reverse engineer it with the not data damn. dumps. Um. Uh, hold on, let me just double check the stream. But also, also in also in in place three, I was like kind of running the whole faction, so. Hmm. Sorry. Y'all. Yeah, are you good? Yeah. Okay. I might need to turn you down just a teeny tiny bit on my end. Okay. Yeah. God. But uh, yeah. Um. Speak. Hello. Uh, I think that's. I like ponies. Ponies are good. Yeah, I think that's pony, good. Pony, 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 pony. Pony, 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 pony. Yes. Okay. All right then. Uh, wait for where the fuck? There we go. Um, honestly, I'm kind of looking. I'm looking forward to this. Mhm. Mm because I know from like what you told me, like it's really good. Yeah, it's good. I, I am That's of the opinion much. that um it is the uh, um it is the best uh uh single player that Splatoon has ever had. Uh, uh side order is pretty good. Uh I don't think I don't think it tops Octo Expansion for me, but I do I Side Order is different. Uh Side Order like basically is like a whole like roguelike. Oh <laughs> which is really interesting. Um so it's different, but I, I think I think Octo Expansion is my favorite so. It's up to you to lazy stuff fake. I'm not gonna read. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna read. This fight ain't over, bitch! Boy, <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> but there's no honor in defeating a fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> something, something. Octo <laughs> Valley. Attacked by someone. 
Somehow we got a mirror in my room, maybe something. So how's this? Go oh, temperatures. How we escape? Where are my matters? I haven't even told you my name. I'm Captain Gunnelflish, the leader of the new Squid Break Splatoon. And you are? I'm depressed. That's what I am. <laughs> this is the part of where you tell me your name. By crack, you lost your memory. Oh! Oh! You lost your memory. You can't remember anything about yourself. Anything at all? Yeah, I've seen this um, still with them in the uh, tube or whatever. Man, watching watching this with five point five and a half seconds of latency from uh, what you're talking is fun. <laughs> I made that immediate. Is it fun? Yay! Uh, nice. Uh, my eyes are kind of turquoise in real life, so let's go with that. Nice. Man, I wish I wish you I wish you could stream on Discord so I could like see it when it's happening, but we don't have the bit rate for that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, coaster. Yeah. You're the uh, read and chat bitch. Okay. Oh yeah, you might wanna you might wanna like mod me. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably mod you. Starshine says yo. Hi Starshine. Nightly says audio's fine, but probably lower the game volume, is gosh. Oh, okay. There we go. It myself i don't get the game audio at all you guys are lucky you can hear you can hear the sick tunes i don't get to hear the sick squid tunes don't warn me yeah let me mod you ah crap i should have done this before <laughs> oh, you're good i am like most all my streams are basically like this why be organized when you could uh not be right yeah Crap, no. Shut up, Dieter. No. TV, stop. Yeah, we got the, uh, uh, Nightly says no buffering issues so far. Yeah, we got that figured out. Um. Yeah, it was just me. Uh, the problem, the problem was we were, uh, Gabby was accidentally trying to stream at, a uh, uh, 40, uh, 40 gigabits, or not gigabits, 40 megabits per second, though, and, uh, her upload is not 40 gigabits. 40 megabits per, I don't want to keep saying gigabits. Her upload is not 40 megabits per second, but she was trying to do it. How old is this game? The game came out in 2017, but Octo Expansion came out in, I think, 2018. 2018. Yeah, 18. Uh, the, uh, so the, the game came out in 2017. The, the DLC that we're playing came out in 2018. Oh, okay. Why say okay? I'm like, yeah, I know that. Sorry. 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 Uh, say something in the chat so I can make you a mod. Um, as a moderator. There you go. You're good now. Good sisters, blah, blah, blah. Now dust off yourself and find legs. And land your legs. Yep. <laughs> Not find legs. Get right, moving. Send the ban, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> Never mind, send the ban you. No. But honestly, I like the mood right off the bat. Yes. And I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> on. Uh, basically, you're you're an octoling, and you woke up in this subway thing, and this dude's talking to you, and like, you can't remember much. Because of the mind control shit or something, he said. Yeah. I always want to explore around a little bit here. We spinny. Wait, Spinny. Oh, there's a little cheap cheap. I like that. It's cute. Yes. All right, no fucking around. How fluent am I in Squiddish? The language is called Inkling. And I am fluent in Inkling. 
I would, I would, I would speak it for you, but my my vocal cords do not possess the ability to make the the proper sounds. I mean, I can only. <laughs> you can do it, coaster. You just gotta believe. True. Ooh. I mean, I can kind of do Inkling Girl, like. Whammy, whammy, whammy. I don't know how the noise suppression is. That's pretty good. I like it. Thank you. But that's all I really know to say. Yeah, that's a Noctarian vault. You need the key. Be Noctarian now. You sure place it? Place it. Oh, hello. Hello? No, splatter. So I've been mean to play this DLC for like the past five years. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and I just forgot about it for a while. And I'm like, oh, wait. A good DLC though. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm being a, a a bad influence on you uh, to play more Splatoon games. <laughs> yeah, you want me to buy Splatoon three? Yeah, buy Splatoon three, and then um, put it put a few hundred hours in so you can get to like S plus, and then um, and then we can make we can make a Splatoon team. Hell yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, maybe I should Great. stop doing fanfic readings and instead uh, do Splatoon content. Yeah, become become a pro Splatoon yeah. uh, player. Wait, how's the audio? No, uh, I mean I have, the, oh, I have right. the audio of the stream muted, but your audio sounds good. I can check. Okay. Yeah, it seems pretty good to me. Okay, cool. Oh. That's a blah. But um, I actually almost bought Splatoon 2 when I first- uh, sorry, Splatoon 3 when I came out. You should've. <laughs> no, because- oh well, no, it's just because of my financial situation. Oh. Because I think also okay. at the time, I just got back from Everfree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Knight Knightly says uh, my quality is really good. Hell yeah! Um, and game audio is fine. Um, Thank Coaster for helping us. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure Gabby has a, has a good mic because she uh, uh, does... Uh, uh, Voice. You know, the voice acting stuff. Mm -hmm. um, my audio is interesting. What does that mean? It means it's interesting? Okay. Is it interesting in a good way oh, or a bad way? <laughs> but that's common, says Starshine. Okay. Um, yeah, you die if you go there. <laughs> yeah. So wait, even if I just like go on the tracks, I die? Uh, well, you can't stand on the tracks. Oh. There's no, so they're there's just too lazy to add um, permission to collision. Anyways. Uh, Hello? Yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't know what happens. I don't know if you can go through the tracks or not. Uh, but, um... Uh, said something. I can't count. The only number I know is 8. Yeah. Oh, what about 19? I like 8. Uh, ni 19 is a bad number. I don't like 19, but I do like 8. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, it's a little bit of an inside joke with the with us in the Little Shy server. Mm -hmm. I will take a relent, I yeah, promise. Not, ha ha ha, psych out, all the cats. Starshine, Starshine, I have I have a Yeti X, so I don't know, I don't know, is that not a good enough mic for you? I don't know what you want me to, to get, um... Thank you for the card. And for the N64 controller. Yes. Application 10,008, huh? I mean, it's That's like, it's kind of the middle part of an N64 controller. Yeah, it has the analog stick. You could also say that's just a nunchuck, though. Oh, Fun true. Fact, uh, yeah, the, the nunchuck is just the, the middle, the middle uh, handle of the N64 controller. You'll never unsee it. I mean, I've owned that for years, but like, you just ruined everyone. It's good when you, the Yeti X is good when you filter it correctly. Well, I'm not filtering it at all, so that's probably my problem. Oh. Anyway, I think it's supposed to look like a Joy-Con, kind of. I think it's supposed to kind of look like left Joy-Con, but with only the stick and nothing else. Oh, okay. My only question though is that if it drifts. Yeah, I don't know. Also, I wanted. To, I forgot to it'd go be over funny. here. It'd be funny if they made it drift. Yeah. <laughs> It's over here. 
And Nintendo says Joy-Con Drift doesn't exist either. Yeah. Oh, that's on my day one Joy-Cons. Same. Anyway, what's over here is uh, nothing yet, but later. Oh? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, The Harmony Con vlog is almost done. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that. <laughs> no, honestly, it's just been, like, such a... It's been, like... I got the rough cut done, but, like, I just need to go back and cut some stuff and also, like... What the heck? Is that a Pokemon? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, T Cucumber? Yeah. It looks like a Pokemon. You're not wrong. Oh, ironic, because then I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt. That looks very similar to him. Nice. They yeah. should add Joy-Con as a vehicle in Mario Kart and make it excellent at drifting. <laughs> that would be funny. I, I agree, Nightly. I agree. Secret of Chambers that connected to some deepest. I mean, there's no drifting stat, but like, give it, give it like max mini turbo. Yeah. Like, yes. That would be hilarious. That would also make it probably competitive viable if it had max mini turbo. Because basically everything with max mini turbo is. I have to pass a test. I'm terrible at test. Oh, same here. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, pick B on every question. Oh, her little of uh, her thumb reacts to the analog stick. Yes, that's adorable. Yes. Oh, what a bizarre technology is these days. It's the deepest metro map. Blah, blah. Um, okay. There we go. Now the deepest part is the first test. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> What's going on is you can you can pick a level and you can play it. There's only one level to pick right now. Well, no, I mean like just the general story. I don't know what's going on. Oh. So you're you're trying to get you're trying to get to the promised land. Um, so Sea Cucumber told you that if you and and the telephone thing, uh, the telephone says if you uh you go and you find all four things, then uh, um uh you can build a machine that takes you to the promised land. Oh, okay. And then you can, and and so you can get out of the you can get out of living in in the metro for the rest of your life, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I forgot all the links were here. banished here. Yeah, because you're 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 stuck underground. You're stuck in the metro for forever, and you want to you want to get to the promised land. Yeah. Wait. Oh. I love the yeah, like I love the aesthetic right off the bat. Also, I didn't know Octolings grew trees down here. Oh, they've been they've been experimenting. True that. Uh, did Splatoon three ever? Did Splatoon three add um, uh, what's it called? Offline uh, like battles. What do you mean? Wait. I turn up music. What do you what do you mean by offline? Like battles? with CPUs? Uh no. Huh. Weird. I mean I kind of understand why, but like since we already since there was already like CPUs in the game, like I, I feel like that would be really bad if they tried to do that. How so? I don't know. Uh I mean I'm like S plus six, so I'm probably a bit skewed on that but mm. i feel like i feel like i feel like the ai would just be really bad yeah or oh wait or you know what would be really cool it's like the um amiibo with smash brothers like you train up your um amiibo yeah but i don't i don't think they have good enough ai engine to do that yeah well i mean with all the advancements in ai they have to make good ai in the first place yeah although with the, all this stupid advancements yeah, but I mean, AI isn't actually AI in this context. Oh, yeah. 
AI is it, uh, a, AI quote unquote in a video game is just a decision for you. Yeah. Like 99% of the time. Okay. Yeah, we won. Yay. Ba, 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 da, ba. Let me go back and check the audio. I love the, I love the ending jingle. Pancakes, there'll be something. You'll be awarded to something. No. Also, I think we're good. Pancakes. And new stations are available now for you to visit with your with something something. Oh, thank you, Sarshine. I also, I'm just looking at the. I just pulled up the chat real quick. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm bad at paying attention to the chat. <laughs> Alright. Good. Hmm. Is this working? Oh, I hear something. Come on, Agent 3. Agent 3, do you copy? Mike Jack, 1, 2. The heck are you? Excuse me? Pearl, don't treat... Don't... Uh, didn't anyone teach you some respect to your elders? What? I'm speaking to... Who? Something, something. Where is Agent 3? You're stating a name. So I'm so sorry, Coaster. You Like, how delayed the stream is. Yeah. I think I asked you to do anything. I'm Pearl. Blah, blah, blah. My deeds are sure it's something, something. Off the hook. Oh, check it. You're getting uh, CJ Craig in the house. I'm not gonna rap. Oh. That's my love. I'm dumb. Like I. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to provide good commentary here, but it's hard. It's hard. It's all right. You. Also, I just love how Maria is just like shut the fuck up. Yes. Return missions. Something, something. That's in your Octo Valley. Agent Eight, when I were there sometime. Okay. See you and Agent Eight. No, something. Sorry to hear that. I don't worry for now. You, and me, Maria. They go. Something. I don't really know what's going on. Same here, Pearl. Well, anyone who loves rapping is a friend of mine. Promised land. There. Yeah. Um, oh, damn. Um, Alright. Actually, I want to go explore around the um, subway. Actually, never mind. I don't think we can. Also, what the hell are these? The uh, jellies what with the what? tall heads. Oh, uh, they're just they're just riding the subway. They're just trying to go somewhere. Okay. Um. Anyway, yeah, this is the only car you have now. Um. So yeah, what, what level do you want to play? Oh, so it's think... non-linear. I see. Nope. You can uh, you can pick. Hmm. Yeah, you just played AO5, so you can go AO4 or AO6. Trying to think. Let's go with the hamster ball one. All right. Ooh, pretty. Oh wait. I oh, know we just equipped it. Oh wait, did we? Did we what? No, I did. I'm dumbass. Go. So are the levels a lot more like bite sized in this um uh sorta? Like they're not as they're not as big as like those like Splatoon 2 campaign levels. Uh oh, okay, gotcha. but they're they're a lot more they're a lot more like experimental, I guess is the word. Oh, okay. Um and they they're and they're a lot harder, and I like that. Ooh, okay. Cause I remember, yeah, because since I remember the original game was pretty easy at times. Yeah. Oh wait, is this also the game where the um, what's it called, the lasers? Or is that in Splatoon 3? I don't know what okay. you're referring. I just know there was like one clip going across like Twitter of like people dodging like lasers in one of the Splatoon campaigns. Oh yeah, 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 that. 
I think I think you're talking about a Splatoon 3 level. I'm oh, okay, sure. that's three. I might be thinking of a different thing than you are, but okay. Be yourself. But um, yeah. Um, fuck. I died. Oof. God. Ah. Probably turn it down a little bit on my end. There we go. What? Fuck. Oh, I know. We didn't die. Yeah, you're a checkpoint. Um, you have. So if you look in the top left, uh, that's how many uh, lives you have. And if you run out of lives, then you have to pay the entry fee uh, to to play again. Okay. Do you ever run out of pay, um, entry fees? Uh, yeah. If you run out of points, so you get you get you get currency when you finish a uh, level, but you can if you if you try too many times, you can spend all your all your money. Um, and if that happens, then uh, Pearl gives you a loan because her parents were loaded. Oh, that's based. Uh, but then you have to pay a loan back at mm. some point. So. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And I got, I got like the first time I, I played this, I got like fifteen thousand in debt. At a oh point. damn! But I got out. It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, oopsies. Um. I'll probably come back later and complete the, the rest of them. I was doing that. I was there are some levels that are really hard, and I was doing the hundred percent first time I played it. Oh god, that sounds like hell. So let me just move my. There we go. All right, ball level. Let's go. Yippee! Not like not like the ball level we just played though. Different kind of ball. The one in uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, sure. Yippee. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I'm not sure if you remember, but do you remember after the final Splatfest, um, the devs of Splatoon said, yeah, there are no plans for Splatoon 3. I do not remember that. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. They were lying. Yeah. They were lying. I do find it a bit odd how they already like released another Splatoon game on the Switch. Mm. It's a I little bit, I guess. I don't know. Because yeah. I mean, we 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 had we had Splatoon two for five years before that came out. Like it yeah, was, but like it was kind of time for a new game. I don't know. I just feel like it would have been better if they saved it for like the next Switch console. I mean, I'm sure there. I'm sure there will be a new Splatoon uh, oh. shortly after the next console comes out because we're already two years into Splatoon two. We've already had Splatoon three for longer than we had Splatoon one before two came out. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, like I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll, like there'll probably be a new Splatoon like within the first few months. We're mm -hmm. coming very close to the end of the content cycle. Oh. The content cycle for Splatoon three. We're like very getting close to the end to there not being any more updates. Yeah. Um, we're getting close to the end of that. So, um, I'm sure, I, I'm sure they'll start cooking Splatoon 4 pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I don't know how long it takes to make, make a Splatoon 4, but, or maybe they're already cooking it. I don't know. Maybe. You never know with Nintendo. Um, uh, let's get the things. Oh, okay, fine. Let me just. Do you want to know actually one game I'm really up? Uh, oh wait, fuck. I did want to actually ask you this as well while we're at it. Um, yeah. How do you feel about the content content cycle of like the Switch generation? Ooh. Um. What do you mean? Like you know how like games like like um games like of course Splatoon, uh, Mario, um, fuck what was it? Um, Mario Maker, Mario Golf, Strikers, and like yeah. a bunch of other in Animal Crossing. They got like um updates later on how do you feel about that um i mean it kind of depends because like like if if they're if it's like in like there's nuance here if it's in like an unfinished game and they're just like we're gonna finish it later with updates like boo um which nintendo likes to do with a lot of their um like Fuck. like b tier c tier franchises stuff like mm -hmm. um like 
I don't know, like, this is the example that comes to mind for whatever reason, but Nintendo Switch Sports. Yes, that's um, another one. And the, like, like, it was like, yeah, we're gonna, like, half the game's just not there at launch, and they add it later. Like, no, like, like, that's not, like, that's not, they're, they're, um, supporting the game and adding content, and, like, like, they're not, like, progressively supporting the game, that's just, it's not finished, and we're gonna release the rest of the game later. Yeah, and that's what they did with Animal um, Crossing as well. Yeah, but, like, like Splatoon, uh, like that, that is, that's great. Yeah. Uh, Contra Dragon vs. Splatoon is great. Um, cause, like, they actually give you a completed game and then keep supporting it with the uh, additional content, new, new maps, DLC, um, mm -hmm. balance updates, which are, uh, I mean, I've seen worse balancing in games. <laughs> I don't know. No, I was gonna say Smash, I mean, I like but I'm like, I'm not with, sure. With, with Splatoon in the grand scheme of things is honestly, uh, really well balanced game. Like, virtually every weapon is, uh, completely viable at the meta. Like if you look at the if you look at like the top 500, and you look at the weapons they're using, um, like ver like um, you'll see like I think you'll find every weapon at least once on, in the top 500. Oh damn. Um, except for uh, bows, right? Because I've heard those are like. Except for what? Bows? Because I've heard they're like oh, underpower. Uh, stringers? No, 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 no. Stringers are. I mean, not that. I mean, I mean, you're talking about a whole class here. You're not talking about a specific weapon, but. Okay. Um. I mean, it's not, it's not like the most popular class, but it has, it has some, not, it has some like decent uses. Um, it's not the oh, most what? niche thing ever. Like, like uh, people, people play bows. Um, people play, people play stringers. Oh, okay. Um, reflux was big for a while. Uh, when they, they, they no. did, uh, uh, people, people ran for a while. People ran reflux for special utility with, uh, missiles. Oh. Missiles used to be really good, and they pa they nerfed them. Oh, wait, how so? Uh, Is it like harder to like find? Uh, yeah. Well, well I mean, uh, people they're they're still they're still kind of useful as a uh, as support weapons with the right with the right kit. Oh, okay. Um, but like that's, that's general that's generally what stringers are doing right now is support. Ah, gotcha. Um, I think we're about done here. Yep. Yippee! Da -da. I mean, and I mean, like there are weapons that are better than others, but they're all they're all like completely usable. They're all it's it's pretty well balanced. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now, the the map situation, I'm not a huge fan of Splatoon Three. Like, I don't want to go like, oh, haha, the the maps are bad, bottom text. Um, but uh, like they're like they're they're um, like Splatoon Three has a lot of maps, and like this wasn't true of the previous games. It has a lot of maps that have like um like they're either like too small or they have like not enough cover and so like like uh, uh backline weapons are like uh like really powerful in those maps oh, okay and it's just not like it's, there's just not enough cover in them also, like mahi mahi is basically just a flat plane like i don't care what anyone says um i don't know what you're talking about i haven't played splatoon 3 yet <laughs> But yeah, that's one thing I remember hearing from people. Like, apparently the maps are kind of... Eh? Yeah. Oh, I, I think... Sorry. I would say Splatoon 2 had had overall better maps, I would say. There were still bad maps in Splatoon 2. Uh, there hmm. were still maps I don't want to play in Splatoon 2. But, like, uh, like I would say overall, like, like the best maps in Splatoon 2 were better than the best maps in Splatoon 3. Oh, okay. But it's not that big of a deal. Like, like people, people, like this is this issue is way overblown from how big of a deal it actually is. Like, there are still there are still plenty of uh, completely playable and even pretty good maps in in Solution Three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, just don't yeah. join a tournament where the tournament organizer is running is running Scorch Gorge uh, uh, zones, <laughs> and you'll be fine. Um, if, if you're if you're playing if you're playing Scorch zones in tournaments, then I don't know what the TO is doing. Anyway, yeah, this is the uh, this is the chat room session one. So you uh you unlock those. That's that's how you get the lore dumps in Octo Expansion, and you unlock those as you finish levels. Okay. So if you want all the chat logs, you have to you have to play you have to play every level. Keep recommended weapons here. Give them that. Okay, I guess I'll go with what they recommend. Yeah, I'll probably read them later because also like, I I kind of yeah. Well, I did read yep, a little those, bit there, but like for me, like it's more so, so like 
as far as the weapon choices, um, the recommend is probably like mainly the weapon the stage, stage is designed around. Um, if the bonus is less on a weapon, then it's probably easier, and if it's more, then it's probably harder. Oh, That's right. not always the case, or at least in my opinion. Um, but it it also depends on just how comfortable you are with certain weapons. Oh, okay. Um. But generally, generally, it's probably mostly designed around whatever has a recommended tag, and you get multiple weapon choices. Oh, okay. I see. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not doing well. Yeah. Uh, you have to get all the targets, so you're gonna die. Yeah. You, you can't miss. You can't miss any of the targets. Are you serious? Yeah, you have to get everyone. Fuck. Good night. Fuck. I'm not doing well. Yeah, nobody does at first. Socto expansion. It's hard. I'm scared to see how hard it gets. Mm -hmm. One thing I kind of do like about the um, level design, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Mario Galaxy a little bit. Yeah, kind of. I see what, I see what you're getting at. No! I think it might have to do with the spacey backgrounds. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I think your I think your uh, camera control is part of your problem here. Like, um, like if you have to if you're like have to like turn around to get a target, you have to like turn back as soon as as soon as you pop the target. Okay. So. Uh, sensitivity. Um, you like like I'm saying when you turn around. To, pop target you're just not really turning around efficiently and you're denying yourself information that you should have <laughs> i think um wow you have you play on sensitivity five yeah it's terrifying what do you play you play dualies right uh mostly dualies is five that's i'm terrified like i mean if it works it works like there's not there's not any correct or incorrect uh sensitivity settings um if, like if it works for you, then then do that. But I just, I'm 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 amazed that I'm amazed that uh, uh, uh plus five on duallys is your favorite is the setting that works best. Well, actually, for you. actually, wait, no, I don't usually play duallys nowadays. Uh, at least, why? Well, I, I thought I used to play duallys, but um, I think my preferred one was the um fuck. Yeah, my it was the fuck, but like, it was the, the uh what's it the called the bucket with the um. Uh, the slosher. Yeah. But like with the bubbles? Oh, the blah blobber. Yeah, blah blobber. That's one of my favorites. Ah, so so I hate you. I <laughs> <see>. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, nothing personal. It's just blah blobber mains aren't human. <laughs> but they're so much fun to use, though. That's fair. Hey, uh, at least you're not an e leader main. What are those weapons? E leader, the uh, the longest the longest range charger. Oh, you know the one that that sits on the one the one that sits, sits on the platform, marks snipe in any map, and just kills you endlessly. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I'm not doing very well. Ask for help. So um, I I don't think uh, so. If you ask for help, it just skips the level for you. What the fuck? Yeah, um... Yeah, no, thank you. It just skips a level if you do that. Although, I might just go with a different level. Mm -hmm. No, I'd rather... That's cheating. Yeah. Fuck. Also, it just defeats the whole purpose. Mm -hmm. um, oh, hello. Last from the past, far out station. Is that bad? 
No, I was just reading the. I was just reading the the, the name of the. Level. Okay, sorry. Uh, gotcha. But like, um. You know, I was gonna say the tip I was gonna give you, but the, on the last one was uh, um. So I think you're you were trying to charge uh, fully on like every target, and oh, I you see. don't really need to do that. Like, like they'll pop if you touch them. Like they have like they have like one HP. Oh, okay. Um, so you just need to charge enough to have range, and what you need to be doing is just look at the look at the reticle, and if you get the like little like like uh like line marks, like the little X on the reticle, um, that tells you that you're charged enough that you're gonna hit it. Okay. Anyway, this is a uh, this is a um, actualing AI AI match. Uh, you just have to you have to win a one v four in Rainmaker. Uh, but it's against it's against the AI, so it's easy. You say that I it took me like too fucking long to hit the um actualing. Yep. I didn't say you're aiming too hard. There's one behind you. Yeah, thank you. Ah! See, I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell you this is you probably weren't there when I when I actually said that. I can't I can't I can't give you tips six seconds in advance. Uh there we go. I'm amazed the the, the one with the carbon did not kill you. Oh but that was a carbon? Yeah. Damn. Oh, hello. Where are you? Stay still. Frick. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, Nightly asks what my ranking of the campaigns are. Um... So, uh, the way I would, uh, I would say, um, uh, from, from best to worst, I would say, I would say Octo Expansion. Uh, Octo Expansion is just, uh, amazing. I love, I love the format, I love the difficulty, I love the story, everything about it's great. Um, I'm gonna put Side Order at number two right now. I'm not confident I'm gonna stick with that, because it has, it definitely has recency bias, and it's like, ooh, it's different and fancy, and it's like, uh, like having having a Splatoon roguelike is really interesting, um, and uh, uh, oh, ah! I like how I like how replayable um, Side Order is. It's good. Um, then I would say uh, Splatoon three main campaign at number three. Um, Splatoon 3's campaign takes a lot of inspiration from Octo expansion, so it's just like Splatoon 3's campaign is basically diet Octo expansion. Um, if I'm being honest. Gotcha. Um, hello there. It's annoying. It's annoying to hundred percent though, because you have to walk on like the you have to walk around like every square inch of the hub world. It's really annoying. I don't like that. But I like I like everything else about it pretty much. It's just it's just diet octo expansion. It's just, octo expansion if it was if it was um the difficulty of a main Splatoon campaign is what Splatoon three is. Hmm. Then uh, number four I would say Splatoon two campaign. Um and number and uh number five uh Splatoon one campaign. Um, it's where it, uh, it's it's the one that started them all, but um, it's a glorified tutorial. Yeah, it, it hasn't aged well, uh, as well as the other ones. I don't know. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. If we're, if we're saying any 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 mode is a tur is a tutorial, I would say Turf War. <laughs> Turf War is the tutorial. I also argue that the uh, single players are. Nah. Turf War teaches you uh, uh, a lot, uh, um, a lot more of what you need, what you need to know than uh, the campaigns ever will. Hmm. I guess, but it, but Turf War is fun though. It can be. Oh, yeah, right. It's, yeah. it's because it's because you don't you don't play ranked is why is why. Yeah, I was gonna that. say it's because you're a ranked player. Oh yeah, because that's where the game is. <laughs> What's the music? Yes, Dead Fish. Dead Fish is like top top five best musicians of all time. 
even though they're fictional? Yes. <laughs> All my favorite bands are fictional. Keen Wreck Crusaders. Brew. Like Violet Pony. Violet Pony's fictional, right? Violet I think Pony's so. Not a real person. Fuck. Ah crap, got to refilling. So I don't think you need to hit until we get here. Oh, fuck. No wait, come on! Oh hey, we got the checkpoint at least. I'm amazed that counted the checkpoint. What the heck? I didn't know you could do that. You counted the checkpoint without actually landing on the platform. It's amazing. I think I was just close to it. That's how. Yeah. Oh, frick. I'm done. So do you have to repay, um, Pearl in, like, the, um, points? Or, like, is it, like, your actual, like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, in the credits. I'm anxious. And yeah, you're right, it is difficult. Well, yeah. it's definitely, it's, 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 cha it's more oh, challenging. No, you're, you're, on, you're, on, you're on A line, this isn't the hard stuff. And you say that I just died. Frick. Honestly though, I don't know how the heck I would have done this if I played it like back then. Because it's like, I primarily, because back then I didn't use, I didn't use much controls. Oh god. Yeah, never play Splatoon with sticks, kids. At, at everyone, all of you in the chat, if you play Splatoon with sticks, uh, don't. Learn motion. Like, it'll feel worse at first. Like, if you use the sticks, it'll feel worse for, like, one to two weeks, and then you'll get used to it and you'll start to be a lot better. Mm. Uh, sticks are, sorry, sticks are just bad. Uh, motion is, um, superior by far. Um, Literally, um, every every single competitive Splatoon player uses motion. It is far better. Um, uh, you can react, you can aim a lot more quickly and a lot more precisely than you ever possibly could with sticks. Some weapons uh, can't even do everything they're designed to do if you're using sticks. No, really? I didn't Learn know motion, please. Yes. Yeah, you can't like um, uh, like like you ever try to play a charger with sticks? Just oh you know, yeah, like, that that's like a hell. Yeah, charger. Charger with sticks is literally impossible. Don't shoot the falling balloons. The whole thing you're supposed to do with the charger is, uh, see, so yeah, you got you got one life here, so don't screw up. Um, I see you have one minute. How the hell am I supposed to shoot all of these boxes? Go. Okay, so I guess it's skill issue then on my art, my part. Yeah. So save time, I would say again, uh, same tip I gave you on the last level. Um, shoot as soon as uh, shoot as soon as you get the little um, you, you know what you see what I'm talking about when you're aiming yeah. at something and you get the little X thing over the crosshair. Like as soon as as soon shoot as soon as you see that, you don't need to charge fully. Okay, save time. Although I guess it's just habit. You need to go a lot faster than oh, that. Oh fuck! You have to you have to be uh, popping a box uh, um, once every three seconds on average to make it. Then I guess I should pick another one because since at least restart. I'll try this one more time. Then if not, then I'll pick a different stage.
Uh, did you get Splatoon 2 when it first came out? Yes. Nice. Yeah, I got, I got mine. Oh. I got every Splatoon game when it first came out. I have been playing. I have been playing Splatoon since the original original uh, test fire before Splatoon 1 came out on the Wii. Ah, uh, nice. I'm I'm an OG. Uh, come on. Hit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a different stage. Back to train. I mean, I, I might say you might do fair better with the, with the, uh, with the squelchers if you're, uh, um, not, if you're, like, really not good at, uh, chargers, but... Oh, oops. No, I didn't mean to go back Honestly, to Angopolis. Playing that with, uh, um, playing that with, uh, um... With uh, charger? No, playing playing that with I don't even know how that works with with the squelchers to be honest. That, that seems like it would be like really hard to do. I don't think it is. I don't know. How do you do that with squelchers? Uh oh, map modes have been updated. Thank you. Do we have to watch the the news? No, we don't. Okay, no, we don't. Cool. All right. We're gonna like no, and now we're back to 60 FPS gameplay. Uh, ride me, Steve. Oh, uh, I guess we'll just do another stage then. I know I could go into debt, but like I don't really want to. Mm -hmm. yeah, the 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 B line stuff is gonna be easier than the I line. Hmm. Oh, okay. I I line is pretty. Basically, the the farther down the letter of the alphabet is, the harder the levels on the line usually are. Oh, okay. But you do have to you have to circle out to all the four things first, or eventually. Uh... No, and hey, we're gonna die. So what'd you say? Eventually, you do have to make your way to all four of the things. Oh I've god! Showing the location of one of them on the on the map. Um, but it uh, um it kind of like it kind of like points you in the direction of them. Yeah. I'll show you when you're back on the map. Yeah. Fuck. I need to look up. Huh. Save my mic. Ooh, the tornado sirens are going off where I live. Oh wait, in your place? Yeah. Oh shit. Yo, can you guys shut up? Your tornado sirens annoying. Uh, if there's an actual tornado, then maybe you want to leave. Oh fuck. Nah, it's fine. They go off all the time. No! Yeah, I mean, if there's an actual tornado, I want to go outside and look at the tornado <laughs> so I can see it. Damn. That's what we do. Um. Bloody Americans. It's fine. We're gonna be okay. Look, if there is an actual tornado, I'm already in the basement, so there's not oh, okay. a lot else I can do. So I think we're good. But I have to be Midwestern and go outside and look at the tornado first. <laughs> there won't be one. There's not there's not actually gonna be a tornado. It's fine. Okay, good. Crap, I actually hit my mic. Ambient Tonar says, hey, Gabby. Hi. Uh, Nightly says, uh, before I forget to say it, when posting your stream links, you can do slash live after the channel at, uh, instead of posting a separate link for a stream. Oh, okay. Oh, one left. Like, if you do slash live, it'll just open to whatever is live. And if you don't have anything live, it won't open anything. So it won't directly link to the specific stream you're doing. Okay. 
Sorry, I was just. All right, cool. We got the Tesla. Yeah, no, that probably, was stressful. I should probably tell you that when you're not in the middle of the stage. Yeah. That was probably good. <laughs> Wait, could you repeat that? Um, and that we were just saying if you uh when you post the link, if you do, um, just like at your channel, your channel ID and then slash live, um, it'll link to whatever is currently live. Oh, okay. Instead of linking like the specific stream. Um. Gotcha. Thank you. Of course, the, the downside of that is after the streams, then it won't link to the VOD. Sorry? The downside of that is if you, uh, after the stream's done, it won't link to the VOD. Oh. It won't go anywhere. Damn. All right, this is a no weapon stage. Let's go. Sorry? These are fun. This is a no weapon stage. You have no weapons. So just, so it's Metal Gear Solid then? Pretty much. Oh, apparently, if you're not live, oh, if you're not live, just open some live page. I see. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do now. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's go for that. And you can't swim in your ink to heal, though. That's the that's the worst part. Hmm. Well, I guess I'd uh, spawn. Uh, sorry, checkpoints. Yeah. Oh, there's ink here. Yeah. Come here. Oh, crap. I know we're good. I can get through them. There we go. I forgot, what food are these uh, rings based off of again? Onion rings. Onion rings. Oh, okay. I've actually never had an onion ring. So... Wait, you don't like to deep fry everything? No, I'm not American like you. I know. <laughs> you oh. don't- you don't deep fry your deep fryer? No. Um... Yeah, Harmony Con. Harmony Con. Oh, they Harmony changed Con. up the ink a little bit. A little texture. But yeah. That was fun. Yes. And if the flights weren't such a bitch, I would totally love to go back. Unless I can find like an easier way to fly over there. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be there's gotta be a better flight situation than like what what you had to do. Yeah, actually, you know what's funny? I had to mute Little Shy. I had to mute like the Club LS server because it's like I kept on seeing you guys like talk, and I was like, I was supposed to be there. That was that, that was making me sucked. depressed. That must have sucked. Yeah. But hey, it's over now. Mm -hmm. You got there eventually. Mm -hmm. it matters. You got there before opening ceremony. Yeah, that was the thing I was most worried about. I was worried like I was gonna miss opening. You you saw opening. You saw you saw the PMV. Yeah. All good. Well, I don't think like I don't think that most of us knew about the PMV. Yeah. I knew about the PMV, but I I uh um you you're, you it wasn't public. But oh, I knew okay. about it. So that's what you were talking yeah, no, you about guys, when you, you kept guys, on saying like the didn't. thing. You guys didn't know about it, but you know. Hmm. If you too want to know about the PMV before everybody else, um, you should uh, you should go to uh, Patreon.com/studiocinemagic. Uh, I think I think that's how you do it, right? Uh, is it okay if I if I plug somebody else's Patreon on your? Absolutely. Screen? Yeah, go ahead. Cool. Um, is that how that works? I mean, I. I, I I think you posted in chat. I don't see. Oh yeah, you can't. You can't just do slash studio cinematic. So yeah, go to patreoncom slash studio cinematic and uh, join. Uh, I think the the two dollar tier is probably enough to just know what's going on. And then you need to you need to be able to tell what he's working on when he posts the when he posts the post. Let's see at the front. You have to have skill, and you can deduce what he's doing ahead of time. 
Or you can just or you can just know him and he tells you. That works too. That's how I do it. Oh, you little son of a bitch. Sorry, not you. The game. Anyway, you all should you all should go to uh, um not not right now because you have to watch the stream. But after the stream, if you want to watch a really cool PMV and you do want to watch a really cool PMV, you should go to uh, um uh you should look up Studio Cinemagic on YouTube and uh, look up look up the Journey once more. Look up the Journey once more PMV by Studio Cinemagic and you should watch it. I actually haven't seen it. Look. So I probably you need to watch it me. immediately after. You need to watch it immediately after you're done playing. It will change your life. All right. It's funny because it's at HarmonyCon when they kept on like, during the uh, randomizer panel, they kept on making jokes about it. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. what? what? Like you like, you like the Welcome to HarmonyCon PMV, right? Yeah. That took him two weeks to make. So if you want to see what took him four years to make, you should watch the Jesus. Journey Once More Part 1. Yeah. It better be the best thing of the f my freaking life. It, 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 was in my, it was the best thing in my life, so... But I mean, like, sorry, the best video I've ever seen in my goddamn life. It's more than the best video I've ever seen in my life. It's the best. It's the the it's uh, um the the best experience I've ever had. Amazing. It changed my life. It cured my depression. Uh... Yeah, you heard that, everyone. Studio Cinematics um cures depression. Yes, yeah, Studio Cinematic. Let's go. Everybody, go go watch Studio Cinematic. Um... These are good. Join the join the Patreon. Like twenty five dollars here. Join the Ko-Fi. Is it Ko-Fi or Ko coffee? Oh, I, I think coffee. Around, coffee. Yeah. Oh wait, I just realized I could have just. Hashtag not sponsored. This is this is this is not sponsored. I'm just. I just have a, a Studio Cinemagic obsession. <laughs> and you met that at HarmonyCon, right? What? Uh, were they community guests at HarmonyCon? Yeah, he was- he was there. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess and so, because it's like, he did the panel, but like, I wasn't really sure. Yep. Because also, I'm awful at remembering faces, so it's like so He's at like- he's at like every con. Oh, okay. Just all the cons, Uh, he- he does so many panels that cons do. He was on, like, 20-something panels at, uh, HarmonyCon. Jesus. It's crazy. Yeah. I think Taylor had, like- you know who Taylor, like, Glimmer Gang? Yeah. I know he has like goes like that's with panels, so I'm wondering like how many he yeah, had to. Yeah, Taylor's fake Glimmer Gang. I, I think I think Cole should be the new the new head of Glimmer Gang. Oh, hot take. That is that is not a hot take. Everybody turned on him and Harmony Con. Wait, actually, so people turned that t t turned on okay, Taylor. So you don't know. If you don't know about this. So uh, so there was a Jeopardy panel. It was like literally the first panel. It happened like immediately after opening ceremonies. Uh, like remember, remember how, remember how I was, I was at a panel right before we went to the video game museum. I was at, I was at uh, Jeopardy. Oh okay. So um, so Taylor was uh one of the was one of the competitors on on that, and um they 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 made like a spe a special like Taylor round with a bunch of Glimmer questions, and he got like basically all of them wrong, oh. and like some of them were really easy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like he didn't know what the, he didn't know what the what the uh, uh he didn't know what the staff of sameness was. Damn. Uh, he's a fake fan. Yeah, he, he's a fake he's a fake glimmer. So now so now we need it we need a new we need a new head of glimmer game. Fuck. I, th I think it should be Cole. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Cole, he's also- Okay, that's who runs Studio Stem Magic. Okay, yeah, I did see him. Yeah, I'm Cole dumb. Cole Donnerstag, the man, the myth, the legend. Along with John Capcom. Him too. I'll say I hope one day we can, like, he can come to, like, a pony convention. That'd be so good. He- he, he needs to- he needs to, uh, stop being, uh, held hostage by- by school, though. Yeah. Let's um, let's go, let's... Nah, never mind. I was gonna make a silly joke about school. And no, it wasn't a school shooting joke. But yeah. Honestly, do you think he would be down to do like a panel? Probably. Hell yeah. We got him to do a Yeah. 
Because I'm like thinking like, what? Oh, sorry. Remember kids. Uh, remember kids. Uh, uh, don't don't do school. Stay in drugs. Exactly. Uh, stay in pony. Stay in pony. Pony is more important than school. Is that yeah? Nightly says he is he is uh, uh very excited for uh ever free. Ah, uh, same. Uh, he almost says the economy in place. Um, he uh, he lost a little when uh, um uh buying buying a uh, switch and reserving money for Splatoon three. Oh. Um, that, that's my fault. I made him do that. Damn you. <laughs> it's fine. He's still gonna be there. Hell yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm like I've said, I said this last night, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like book my flight or just like. Mm -hmm. Draw, like, um, take the long way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cause also, I did say originally, like, oh yeah, um, Harmony Con was gonna be like my last Pony Con for a while, and, um... Jokes on you, you can never escape. Exactly. But also, and also, with like, BabsCon announcing like they're done, I'm like, okay, fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about BabsCon 25 just because it's the last because I've never been to one. Yeah. And it's the last one, but I don't know. It's still it's still like very not a convenient con for me, and it's not like the most high profile thing ever. Like I don't know. It's hard it's hard for me to get to. Yeah. Because you're on like the East Coast. I'm in uh, I'm in the Midwest. Oh I'm Midwest, not, sorry. I But that's still like that's still like that would be that would be something like a 30 hour drive. So Damn. yeah, we're flying that. I'm not I'm not doing a 30 hour drive. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Same for Everfree, but also plus you get to be on your um you get to be on a plane, which is like your obsession. Yeah, but one of my many obsessions. Yeah. So much so you kidnapped me for one for one uh, little shy's VCs and just you t all you talked about was planes. Yeah, well you got me you got me info dumping about it. That was on you. Oh yeah. I oh, know I didn't die. But yeah, um, and also I still haven't bought my badge for um, Everfree. Yeah, I also need to do that. Oh. The only thing I have for upper three right now is the room. Surprise, motherfucker! Sorry. Cause you, yeah, don't sleep on the room. That is not... Yeah. It is not the thing you sleep on. Also, we're gonna be rooming together, so... Yes. And nightly. Oh yeah, nightly. Forgot about that. There we go. Our, our, nightly asks if Canadians are considered Americans since Canada is in America. Canada is in America, but it's not in America. So they're not Americans. We're the worst version of America. So there's America and then there's America. Okay, that's what that's what you yeah. have to understand. Actually, so no. The best way to describe America, Canada. Not in America. The best way to describe Canada is um it's it's a less it's a um less affordable it's a less affordable America. At least at least you have uh, um healthcare. It's still, I've heard it's kind of bad, but yeah, you're right. How the hell do I? Oh. Oh, I see. They come closer to you, and that's when you... Yeah, this is like Space Invaders. Oh my god, you're right, actually. Fuck. Stop! Leave me alone! Oh, that one just killed itself, so... Come closer to me. Uh, this is a similar stage like this, it's a lot harder later. And oh that, god. That's the one I went 15,000 in dead on. Damn. Uh. Actually, what happens if you don't have the enough money um, to like pay back Pearl at the end of the game? 
back, you pay it back later. You pay it back eventually. I don't know. I don't know what happens if you try to finish the game. Like I paid it off before trying to finish the game. I, it probably doesn't care, honestly. I don't think you actually have to pay it off. You can probably just not. Oh, okay. Handed. If you're, if oh, you're you armor, fucking kidding me? Yeah. So if your if your armor's down like that, um, then what I would uh, I would say um, like find somewhere to hide and just let your armor regener regenerate. Oh, okay. Like during the last stage of it. Um, then if you find so if you like wait long enough your armor will regenerate, I would just say find somewhere you can hide. Okay. And, like they won't see you if you're in the ink. So if you can if you can like get in the spot where you're in the ink and they don't know you're there, like they're gonna shoot it where they last went. But if you like go down and then like shark somewhere else, and you can wait there and like let your health regenerate. Okay. Or you try to engage them again. How the hell did it not hit them? Ambient Ambient Sonar asks, uh, you know why the U the U S and U K can't play chess? I do not. Please tell me why why can the US and UK not play chess? Cuz they lost a Oh my god. Oh they my god. A in two towers. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I find it funny how Splatoon 3, nice. It came out the day after the uh a day before the queen died. Oh yes. Oh, that was so good cuz the post the post of Splatoon 3 were all like um uh uh, shout out to the queen for dying so I could have uh, school off to play with him. <laughs> I knew the check logs. Okay, yeah, that, that, was, that was the first meme of, of the Splatoon 3 Plaza was uh, the queen dying. <laughs> Okay, I'll check out the. Uh, I love, there. I love how they uh the the Nintendo Direct where they announced the name for Tears of the Kingdom. I love how they didn't air it in the UK just because the name of Zelda of the game. Was oh Tears my of god. Kingdom. When did, wait, when did the Tears of the Kingdom trailer come out? Uh, shortly after after the uh, the Queen died. Oh, so that was like like it was it was a fresh event at the time. Yeah, and they were like, we're not gonna air it in the UK because of Tears of the Kingdom. So ever, everyone just watched the Ireland stream if they were in the UK. Damn. Um. Oh fuck! I'm stupid. That was glass. Yeah, ball level. Fuck the ball levels. Yeah, you can't stand there. <laughs> you love ball. You know, you, you eat the ball down there oh. and it does a, it does like a Rube Goldberg and then gives you a path. Oh, okay. Oh. Give it, give it a shot, yeah. Nice. That's satisfying to watch. Yes. Um, I think this is my favorite ball level is this one. Oh, so it, like it's all down here from here. Is what you're trying to say? I don't know. I I just like I just like watching it do go through the things. <laughs> it is as fine. No, I was thinking of a different one. There's a there's a different. I was thinking of a different ball level. It has a lot more of those. Oh, okay. So do we know? Also, do we know who's going to be at Everfree this year? Uh, we know some of the people. I don't necessarily. I don't think we necessarily know everyone. Hmm. No, I mean like the people in our group. Yeah, but like I can I can tell you who I know is going to be there. Well, you. I mean, on Breath of the Wild, I have it on you, and I've barely played it. Uh, Breath of the Wild is, and this is coming from someone who's not really a Zelda fan. But Breath of the Wild is like I'm not a Zelda fan. I'm not really. I I know Zelda isn't an RPG, oh, but it's like. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a huge Zelda fan, and I'm not really a huge fan of the genre. But Breath of the Wild is just a really good game. Yeah. I, I had a lot of. I had a lot of fun with Breath of the Wild. I got pretty into it. Um, I got like, I, I put like 200 hours in. Jesus. It. So it was. It was a really like in 2017. Like. No. Crap. Like like it being in 2017 and like being like on like being the first Switch game like because I got my Switch on launch day and I got Breath of the Wild on launch day on the Switch. Um, and I was I was uh, very lucky to be able to do that because it was very hard to get. Uh, I remember out. that, yeah, because I couldn't. I got, I... I got my all on one shit. Yeah, because I remember like, I got fuck. I got us. Like, a... game... oh, sorry. 
so unlike everything else at the time. It was, it was really good. It was a really cool game. Yeah. At the time, it's just so yeah. Breath of the Wild was. Yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing I kind of I've noted. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm doing shit at the ball. Um, that's one thing I've noticed. I know a lot of people who aren't usually a big fan of the normal Zelda formula, like really enjoy Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I remember when the Switch was like impossible to get. Mm -hmm. And whatnot. Fun times. Um. I don't know how I did this, but like, so I was in like, I was in like eighth grade at the time, right? When like, for like, I was in like the last two months of eighth grade, of eighth grade when uh, Switch came out. And, um, so like, I can, I can, my mom, and so like, so, um, so the Switch came out October, or sorry, uh, March 3rd in 2017, right? Yeah. Um, it March 3rd is my mom's birthday. <laughs> oh! So, um, and somehow I convinced her to take me, um, to a, uh, like, to like, uh, uh, like midnight release line at Best Buy uh, on on the the night of March seventh morning March third. What? Uh, oh my god! So I could get a switch on launch day. Um, nice. And so like like we camped we camped in the in the line at Best Buy and it was cold, but I got it and I paid for it. I paid for it with my own money. It was the the first console I ever bought with my own money. Yeah, same here actually. Um, yep. Hell yeah, we passed. But yeah, my story about the Switch is, um... Also, I just wanted to say, I have so much respect for you, like, standing out in the cold. Mm-hmm. And, like... Yeah. And, uh... Fuck, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's your mom being like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, why can't we go down there? Oh, wait, we need to complete the level. Yeah, so that, uh, that, that thing that's down there, that is... That's where one of the things is. Is what it's telling you. Okay. So yeah, if you complete that level, you can get one of the things. Ah, uh, yes, I love things. Yes, they're not things, they're things. Things, okay. Things. Yeah. I'll position my chair. So my back is hurting. And there's four of them. That's why they call it the four things. And if you get the four things, you can build the machine to go to the promised land. But there's more things you need. No, you just need the four things, and then you can build the machine. Wait, is that short? It's not as short as you think it is, but yeah, there's four things. Okay. You get the four things, you go to the promised land. That's all I'm saying right now. Oh, okay. Thank you for that, actually, enemy. No, the, the game is not as short as I'm making it sound like it is. Oh, okay, good. Um. But yeah, my, my Switch story is actually kind of funny, because, um... I had Breath of the Wild. I got Breath of the Wild on launch, but like I just couldn't play it for for like a couple months. Oh, so I was like for like a whole month because I didn't have the system. And then oh, one day my mom took us out. Well, took me out. So like we were getting prepared for like my brother's birthday party. I think. And um, stop. <laughs> I'm not sure if you see the what. Oh, you're delayed. But um. And now I'm seeing it. This is uh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh really? We... There we go. Captured it. <laughs> but um, yeah, my mom took it took me out, and um, we went to this little plaza area, and um, mm -hmm. I went to we went to two, st and I checked two store. I asked her like, hey, can I go to these two stores? Cause I want to check if um, just by like some miracle they have a switch in stock. Um, first store I went to, they said they didn't, and fuck. Second store though, the guy's like, okay, yeah, he's. I like asked one of the people, like, hey, do you have any Nintendo Switches in stock? And he's like, hold on, let me go back, uh, back to the um, storage area. And I thought he wasn't gonna walk out with one, but he walks out with one like in his hands, and I just like fell on my knees, and I was like, oh my god, mom! But my, I, I phoned up my mom, be like, mom, they have it. And so yeah, I bought it with my money as well. But she was like, but she wanted to be with me when I paid for it. Cause, cause also she held onto my wallet back then, which honestly I don't blame her. Cause since I was shit at holding onto my wallet back then. Fair. But um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking with my mom's home right now. 
But um, fuck. Let me throw a bomb actually. It is. It, yeah. It was, it was very hard. It was very hard to go to, to go to sleep that night because I, I thought it was like I had to go to school. The next oh day, god. Yeah, you know, I had to go to school the next day because it was what day was it? Um, it was. I think it came out on Friday. That sounds about right. I, I would. I would have guessed Thursday. But that's probably I'm checking. Uh. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. It was March third, twenty seventeen. Uh, so yeah, I had to go to school that day, um, and like, like I had to go, like I had to go to sleep immediately when we got home. Uh, like I couldn't, I couldn't open it, and I couldn't open it until I got home from school. That um, sounds like hell. So yeah, I had to. Go, that that was one of the longest school days of uh, my entire life. Damn. Um, was waiting, waiting to go home. Um. And I had I had one two switch and I had Breath of the Wild for the two games I had. So I had two out of the five games available at the time. There were five games for switch that was launch, switch was launched. Yeah. And I oh, oh also snipper clips. I had snipper clips on launch day too. So Ooh. I had three of the five games. Yeah. Um I, I always forget the snipper clips existed. It was fun at the time. Yeah, I remember like I tried playing with one of my friends and all they just kept on doing was just like killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, I want like, I'm not sure if, like, you had friends that were like that when you played Sniper Clips. Kind of. Oh. Nightly, Nightly's going, uh, going to sleep because it's 1 a.m. for him. Good night, Oh, Nightly. damn. Night, Nightly. Um, there we go. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I see. That's where it is. Are you, you stood on the roller. That's a, yeah, because I'm dumb. What are those called? I can't remember. Fruit roll-ups. Sure, the fruit roll-up. I think they're more like fruit by the foot than they are fruit roll-ups. Oh, fruit by the foot, yeah, fruit by the uh, foot by the fruit by the foot. Actually, that reminds me, wasn't, I think like Christopher Lloyd was in like one of, like, one of the commercials. Fuck, I'm dumb. I don't know who that is. The guy who played Doc Brown in Back to the Future. Oh, I didn't know that. That's amazing. Well, I, well, I, I don't. I, well, I say I think so. Fuck, I'm dumb. Anyway, you know, but bringing, bringing, bringing the switch to school on, like, like, so March fourth, I like, I like, brought the switch to school, and like, I was the only one that had one. I was the only person that had one. Wait, no, March fourth was I, a like, Saturday. Oh, well, not March fourth. Sorry. Uh, not March 4th, but uh, um, the next school day, so Monday. So March, uh, March 6th, that would have been. Damn. Um, but like I, so I, like I brought, my, I brought my Switch to school the next day, and like the next school day, ah. over the school on Monday, and like I'm like I was the only one that had one, and um, like I pulled it out on the bus, and everyone was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> the Switch. Uh, and I was playing Breath of the Wild, and like everybody was watching me play Breath of the Wild on the bus. Like, oh, that's amazing. Um, and then like, oh, like I went to the school cafeteria, ah. and like I just like. Cause I, cause the bus got there like half an hour before school started, and we just kind of like vibed in the cafeteria. Um, and I just, I like, I like, Fuck. I like set the switch up. I set up one two switch, and I just like started playing with anyone that walked up. It was great. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yes. I remember I actually got in trouble for bringing my switch to, sc to school. Cause they were like, no, you like this thing is too expensive to bring to school, and I'm like, we have smartphones, you know. Pretty sure those are more expensive. Yeah. At least at the time. Phone did I have at the time? Was that was that before or after I got my uh, HTC One M Nine? I think that was after the One M Nine. Hmm. So I think that's what I had at the time. Um, HTC One M Nine was a good phone to me. I, mean, I there were there was, there was a great phone at the time. I love I love I love that thing. Lucky. Um. Cause yeah, I had an iPhone Five. Nice. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <sighs> the the HTC HTC One M Nine was one of the most slept on phones of that generation. Like that was a, uh, that was like honestly one of the, uh, one of the best phones around. I, thought, I don't mean like for the price. Like like it wasn't like a flagship. It was like third. Part. I mean, so it was basically it was like flagship killer. Like it was like it was like it was punching up. It was like uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is one of the things. Oh, um, so you're about to get the first thing. Let's go. Um, music is kind of intense. <laughs> yes. 
It is. Head, head in the tunnel to get the thing. Boss fight? There it is. That's the thing. The thing? Yeah, that, that is one of oh. the four things. That is one of the parts to build the machine. Oh, I love it. It's all like 80s. Yes. Oh, also, I love how, like... Does this thing remind you of anything? Sorry? Just curious. What is it? Is this... That's that's one of the things for the machine. One of the things. One of the four parts of the machine. So, yeah, you got it. You got the thing. Hell, yeah. But you're asking me, does it remind me of anything? Yeah, does it remind you of anything? I know the song is, um... Ebby Flow. Ebb and Flow. Yeah, Ebb and Flow. Thank you. Yeah. Good song. It is. They played at the Spinal Splats Fest as well. Yes, you got the first thing. Find all four and you will err on the promised land. Hell yeah. But no, it. Oh, it's a blender piece. Is that what you mean by, like, if it looks familiar? Maybe. <laughs> It it does kind of look like like part of a blender, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyways, let's go back. Whatever. I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll take us to the promised land once we find the other three things and we build the machine. And then we can go to promised land. And like we go to, said. Yeah, the promised land. Oh, who's over there? Not Snom. As a reward of having a new line of transfer, I will give you some CG points. Thank you. Along with the points you've made, 1,500 total. Thank you, Sea Cucumber. Thank you, Sea Cucumber, indeed. Give you a pat. That's my way of giving you a pat. Anyways. Uh, what should we do next? Probably more levels. Yeah. that one e line let's go yeah i want to ask coaster about our slash place yep how much do we know of it not happening this year uh, nothing okay the news is still um uh you know, there there's no there's no news past the uh uh the uh, uh april nights uh admin that uh, uh said uh um uh, 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 my uncle works at Reddit and. 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 That's it. Fine. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> One shot station. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> but yeah. One thing I do kind of wonder for if our slash place is coming back this year. Flap race sensation. Oh, I like this one. Oh. I, I I don't actually remember what the level is. I just remember the name. I like the name. It does have a kind of catchy name too. Good ring yes. to I meant. Mm -hmm. But, um... Oh, I see what we're trying to do. You can't just... Fuck. But, um... Fuck. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, I see what Pearl meant. There we go. I was gonna say, um, what are the possibilities of us, um, teaming with Mizkiff? <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Damn. Cause yeah, he'd be really reliable assets. Unless he, unless he finally shows up at one of the cons. I really, honestly... I'm waiting. Yeah. Like, like, uh, um, Winnie City is his last chance. Before I start to suspect that he might have been lying. I, I feel like he's lying. 
Nah, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't lie to us, right? I mean, he probably would. Nah, you really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? I mean, I think so. No way. But yeah, if we do see him, um, we all need to go up to him and like uh, start doing a ring around the rosy. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually did try to go to like harmony, like a pawn or something, but like they rejected his badge. Why would they reject his badge? Well, unless they're a part of our slash place. Mm. Being, being, uh, uh. Uh, being being uh, evil in our slash place is not uh, is not grounds for uh, bad removal. Oh, true. Ah. So it's kind of unless funny. I unless I uh, I missed an update in the rules or something. <laughs> no, but like if it was XQC, then I can see why. For example. Yeah. But yeah. I still I don't, I don't think they would, I don't think they would ban ban someone just because it's it's a streamer that has. Uh, uh, that, that we don't like. Like, they have to do something at the con. Yeah. They have to actually break the con rules before they get banned. Mm. You have to just get banned for being XQC. You should go to the next uh, MLP convention ambient. You should. It's uh, Cons are fun. Yes. You should go to all the cons. You should go to, uh, you should go to Everfree. You should go to Harmony Con. You should go to Ciderfest. You should go to Winnie City. You should go to Babs Con for the next year until they, until they die. Uh, oh, you should, uh, dumb. Where else? Where else should they go? Van Hoover. Van Hoover. You should go to Van Hoover. Um. Um. Galacon. Fuck. I'm dumb again. Galacon. You go to Galacon. Go to UKPC. Go to uh, Everfree Encore. Uh. Fuck no. Did you go to BronyCon? Go to BronyCon, yeah. Um, Nightmare Nights. Ooh, I can't, I can't wait for BronyCon uh, 2024. Yeah, same here. Ooh. You know, what I honestly, I really hope they actually like do bring BronyCon back for like 2025 when they said like, oh yeah, that was gonna be our last con. It would be funny, but it, it won't happen. Like if they, first of all, they uh, um, they don't have the rights to the BronyCon branding anymore. Oh really? They had rights to that? Yeah. yeah. They don't. They don't own. They don't own the trademark for BronyCon anymore. Oh. Uh. Oh. But um, if they if they did still like. It would. It would. I, I'm not sure. I, it would be. The, it would be the same convention in name only. It wouldn't be. It would be a different convention with the same name. Yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah. They can't bring BronyCon back. It's very sad. Uh, Coaster. What do I do here? Um. Probably that. Um. No, nope. oh, that's a good question. Um, oh yeah, you look look up above that, above the little ramp thing. Above the ramp? Above the ramp. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Okay. Looking Four. up. Okay. Yeah, looking there. I thought there was. I thought there was like a. Okay. That's a good question. We're missing something here. Look around. Um. Unless we go here. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, why is there just why is there just uh, why is there just a uh, uh, conveyor there? I feel like we're supposed to try and find something to hit it with. No. I say hit it with. Oh, I'm trying oh. to. Well, like, what's what's the what was the ramp for though? What was the conveyor ramp for? That is a good question. Like it's 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 there for a reason. Unless we just like throw Oh I see now! There we go. Oh. What was the thing? How does it Oh you throw a bomb on it. Duh. There we go. Brilliant. Hell yeah. 
Wait, I never knew they had the trademark for BronyCon. Yep. Do we know who owns it, though? Uh, no. Damn. Oh my god, it's the, it's the Shirt Shinsai mark. It's the, that's uh, I didn't know what that does. I didn't, I, I didn't know that was a mem cake in, in Splatoon 2. Oh? That, so that, that mem cake you just got, um, that's, uh, um, so that's, uh, that's, uh, um, uh, uh, Japanese, uh, thing called a Shoshinshai mark. Um, and I'm probably pronouncing it very poorly. No, I think um, you're pronouncing it right. Okay. Um, but, uh, that's, um, you have to, if you're a first year driver, you have to, you have to, uh, display it on the back of your car. So people know you're inexperienced. Oh, okay. Um, so it's like it's, here, where, like, like, we have to put on an N or L. Yeah. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to put one of those on. Oh, actually, you're in Canada, so yeah. you might, you might have something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and that symbol is, uh, kind of, it's like, like the green and, the green and yellow arrow thing. It, that's kind of become, like, a just general symbol of, like, um, inexperience. Hmm. And, um... And that, that's what that's what that was. It was that Memphis people thought was that. And the reason I know that is because in Splatoon 3, the uh, the default banner, because like you have uh, one of the new things in Splatoon 3 is you have like a splash tag and you customize the yeah. banner on like a tag. So the the only banner you have at the start of the game uh, has uh, is it's a, it has that on it. It's a show time mark. Oh, okay. Um, it's great because yeah. Um, and apparently they put it into Splatoon, into it apparently it was hiding in Nitro expansion before that, and I didn't know about that. But that's cool. Okay. Fuck. Stop. <laughs> It's gonna be a bitch. Interesting. Ah. But, um... Octo expansion is fun. I'm well, like, I say that, I'm like, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. So thank you for recommending it to me. Mm -hmm. Now you know you should listen to all my recommendations, including uh, buying Splatoon 3 and becoming a competitive play player and uh, joining my Club LS Splatoon team. Well, I don't and think the, I don't, I don't think gonna... I'd be making content again. Uh, we're gonna become the, we're gonna become the masters. You only need to put like a few thousand hours in. We can beat Jackpot. I, I'm I'm sure. <laughs> oh fuck! I just realized there's a timer. Anyway, my strategy for beating Jackpot is um, uh, um, uh, still be a team when Jackpot uh, eventually disbands. Oh yeah. And then we, and then we, we have out survived them, and then therefore they can't beat us. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, that's true. Or my if you just do something else, just if you can't beat them. Never mind. I've realized that doesn't work. I was gonna say if you can't beat them, join them. Yes, become become members of Jackpot, and we are Jackpot. Uh, we're gonna on. take over Jackpot. We're going to replace all of the come members on. with us. Come on! No, I was right there. I can, I can, I can be Doc Q, right? I can be, I can be the American Ink Jetter. Yeah. Oh, that's that is that, that is, is evil. Oh my god. Wow. Because also, I don't think I can explode, right? Uh, I think you're, yeah, I think you're, I think you're invincible when you're in there. Yeah. Oh, although I do, I do have the option to explode, but I'm not sure if that's going to, like, kill me. Oh, um, I don't think you can. can oh, you? I don't know. No. Oh, okay, it's the like, option. Okay, you do regenerate. That would have been good to know earlier. There we go. Wait, who would be the other members of um our team then? Uh, right now, right now I'm trying. I've got um uh Nightly's Nightly's getting Splatoon three, throwing him in. Um uh, what's his name? Uh, Esther. No, not Esther. Um, uh, Fofada. Um, says he's going to get the game soon. TM. Oh yeah. Um, and he's going to do, and then uh, uh Camel Paul already plays the game a lot. Um. I got him into it a few years ago. Hell yeah. When three first came out, so that's it. So we have we have five people that can uh um eventually be members of the team. Hell yeah. Hello, Octolings. I just noticed there's trucks driving around still. I just find that really yes. funny. 
<laughs> but yeah. But uh, what if like, but since there's already five people, then uh, we might be in trouble. No, one of them is a sub. That's fine. Oh, okay. Lots of teams have five people. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. But yeah, after you beat Octo Expansion, you can choose to become an Octoling, right? Yes. Hell yeah. When you beat, when you collect all the four things, you go to the Promised Land, and the Promised Land is Inkopolis, and then your your Octoling is in Inkopolis, and now you can play as your Octoling. Hell yeah. Bro, who, who puts a sprinkler up there? The devs. True. Hi there. But yeah. Because we're already like... Because how long is the Octo expansion? Um... If you're just, just uh, getting to the end, like not playing all levels, um... That the um that website that I can't remember the name of that tells you how long Tell you, the games how are, long to beat it, yeah how long to beat that that says it's about eight hours oh, okay which I find a bit questionable but because how long did it take for you to beat it I mean I played all levels so it took me a lot, a lot longer than that hmm. yeah because like we're almost at the second thing there were, now there there were some that I got I got stuck on for a while. I see. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait, I can squid back. Because they're not actual yes. human players. Yes. Oh, uh, uh. I'm not sure, like, uh, how, where, um, when you played Splatoon, uh, the original Splatoon, but, like, during, like, the last few hours, basically, 